Hey everyone, it's Jackie, and I'm back with uh, my monthly anime haul. I'm super excited. I have figures, I have manga, I have other things that I can't wait to share with you. If you didn't know, September is my birthday month, and I have some things here that were actually birthday gifts. Um, I have a couple things that I, I purchased that are on their way, or and will be in the October haul. But for now, let's look at what I got for my birthday, what I got in the month of September. Okay, so first we're going to start with all the manga. Um, let's start with uh, the weathering free with you. Um, my sister actually bought me two and three because uh, she couldn't find one. And I, I've been looking, but also I can't find one yet. I've watched the movie already, so I know what the plot is already but I'm always interested in reading the manga because it's usually better and I can't wait to read this and hopefully I can get your name also because that would be super cool. Next I purchased these um, one um, at Indigo and then the other one at a store in Toronto while I was there. By the way I went to Toronto for my birthday. The Toyo game books uh, they give me Battle Royale vibes. I've only read like this much so I can't really tell you too much about the plot yet but it starts out as a popularity contest gone wrong basically and it is you know it's good manga when they've got warnings and it comes in a wrap. Next there's a used bookstore in Toronto called BMV uh, it's like a chain there's a, there's a whole bunch of them and I went to the one that was by the Eaton Center over there and I picked up some older manga like a uh, Godchild, which is by the same person who did Angel Sanctuary. Uh, and I got it for five bucks. And then this other one called Zombieland Peach Pit. Never even heard of it, but it has zombies and it kind of has like a shoujo style drawing to it. So we will see what that one's about. And I got it for four bucks. Uh, I recommend if you are in Toronto to check it out. There are several locations, so I'm sure every location has all kinds of different ones that you should check out. But this one was the one that was like at Dundas Square, just for reference. Continuing on with manga, uh, some continuing series that I have continued to purchase is uh, Yakuza Lover, number two. Uh, I haven't read this second one yet, but the first one is very scandalous. Um, it's a very typical romance, like girl loves bad boy and they fall in love even though he's dangerous type story um <laughs> i'm hoping there's gonna be a little bit more substance in the future but we shall see i mean she's supposed to be feisty and wild so let's hopefully we'll get to see a little bit more of the feisty and wild side of her and a little bit more character development in the second one uh but the first one i actually bought because of tiktok and I'm just gonna see how this one goes and see if I will continue the series or not. Speaking of continuing series, this series I love. Rent a Girlfriend. Uh, if you haven't read Rent a Girlfriend yet, I've explained it a billion times in other videos so I don't want to bore you with the details, but I 100% recommend you read it. Also coming in the next month is Rent a Shy Girlfriend and uh, I pre-ordered the first one of that so I uh, will let you know how it compares to the two. Now if you know anything about me it's that my favorite anime manga is Nana and when they announced figures this year I was so excited I can't wait to finally have some Nana figures but something else I never collected and I should have back in the day was Nana manga. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to get two of them on Amazon, one and two, and even luckier that I have a lovely boyfriend who bought me three, four, and five to go with these and hopefully I can eventually get all 21 of them because this is definitely my favorite story. I've read this online before and I've seen the, I've seen the movies, the anime, everything to do with Nana I love. It's such a great story. Uh, it's too bad it's not finished. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. 
So the other thing I got uh, from a great friend for my birthday is this. Is this amazing purse. It is a Pokemon and Lounge Fly um, collaboration. It is my color. It is my favorite Pokemon. And it is super cute and perfect. I haven't used it yet, obviously, but, but I'm super, super excited to have this. Uh, I don't actually own a lot of purses. <laughs> this, I think, is like my fourth purse that I own. So it's nice to have some variety and it's nice to have something that's anime but doesn't like, you know, stick out and is more casual. I really love this. Thank you again, Marcella. So now to the big boys. I have two boxes this month. Um, this box obviously is from Omoyami and the bottom one is from, from Japan. Uh, I think I'll start with the, the small Omoyami box. Sorry if I'm yelling, but I want to make sure that audio wise <laughs> you can hear me. Uh, this is actually my first official box from Omoyami. Normally I don't pre-order things through Omoyami, but I kept seeing everybody that's in the figure community orders most of their stuff from Omoyami. I'm assuming well, one, they have a lot of exclusives, and two, they also, you can pre-order without paying in advance, which I probably, which probably makes it really dangerous for most people. So this is a box of firsts. This is my first Ami, Ami package. Uh, here is the little art card thing, if you will. So I don't know what card this is because I'm not sure when I, wh what month they technically sent this in because uh, this got delayed from June to July and then I think I got it in like mid to end of August. They didn't invoice me until like August too. So uh, regardless, I got one of the Ami Ami cards. Uh, to be honest, I know a lot of people collect this but it it's not really important to me and I will probably throw it out. If it was those art cards that they used to have back in the day, I'd probably keep it. But this is just like a flyer in my opinion. Okay. Oh, she's so pretty. Um, this is another part of my firsts. Uh, this is, let me get her out. This is my first pop-up braid. Uh, I've, I've not had a pop-up parade before. Uh, the box is quite huge for the actual size of the figure, but it looks pretty cute. Let's see um, if you want to see me struggle opening things on camera. If you didn't know, pop-up parade is a collection of figures that Good Smile Company has come up with, and they are very reasonably priced. They're around like $30, $40, depending on which one it was. This one I think was 33, like 3,300 yen, so like $33 for her, um, which is fairly similar to the cost of like a prize figure if you were to buy it. A prize figure is generally around $20. This is a warning in here, sorry I got distracted. This figure can be played either with the base or without with supports. Oh, she's got supports. That's kind of cool. I have a good mix of scales and prize figures, so I'm curious to see how, like, which way this aligns more. Like, is it closer to a prize figure or is it closer to a scale? Regardless, if you are interested in collecting figures but don't have a lot of money, I think these are a really great option. They look super detailed. So here's the support. Uh, it's also, the box is clear, which is always nice. Usually when a box is clear, it means that the figure is a better quality, at least, especially with prize figures. But yeah, it's a super cute box. Simple, go like the Nezuko patterns in the background. I suppose also, if you didn't know, this pop-up parade is Nezuko. She is from Demon Slayer. I'm sure most people know what Demon Slayer is at this point. Nice pink hexagon, pretty simple. Um, it's like semi-matte, semi-glossy. 
which is kind of cool. And Nezuko herself is just in one piece by the looks of it. Yeah, so it fits quite in. Uh, she's super cute. Uh, definitely more detail than your average prize figure, but it doesn't have a ton of shading, which is okay. Um, for the price, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I think I would definitely get more. Oh yeah, so it does stand up. <laughs> I can't really show you, I'll show you in the B-roll, but it stands up by itself if you don't want the base, which is kind of cool actually, because you know, the space is quite large compared to the actual figure herself. So the support is kind of cool. Um, I mean, for now, I think I will display her with the base, but if I get a couple more, I might pull them apart and I'll have them single standing like this. I think that's super cute and cool. Uh, I'm happy to have my first Demon Slayer figure. Uh, I was supposed to get another one this month, but it also got delayed. Now on to the big box. I've been looking at this figure for a long time and it's so reasonably priced. I actually, the reason I bought it from From Japan is because I bought it off of an auction. I got it for 8,000 yen. So I got a seal of a deal. It's actually cheaper than retail. And I think there's one other thing in here, yeah. Um, this is something I get every year from the Pokemon Center. Uh, I can see the long one. Uh, it is the Halloween enamel pin. Um, this is definitely cute. This year it is Pikachu and Piplup. And also I got a little sticker, which is also Piplup. They usually give you uh, different characters depending on the time of month from the Pokemon Center. This is the Japanese Pokemon Center, just for the record. Um, I was actually curious, I don't know, tell me if you would be interested in this, but I was actually looking at buying a plush from the North American Pokemon Center and comparing it to the one that they get in the Japan Pokemon Center. Let me know if that would be interesting at all to you guys. Now, it's the most exciting part. I am. Also, they put a sticker on the box over top of the like literal proof that it is what real ridiculous. <laughs> you guys, look how cute she is. It's Asuka in her uh, Lolita outfit. Kotobukiya might be like my favorite company for figures. They are super reasonably priced compared to like things like Eastream and why can't I don't want to destroy the box a bit more. There's already scratches and stuff, which is probably why it was on sale, but I don't really care about the box. It's just there to hold the figure. It does have like a little bit of a scrape there. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. But who cares? Pull it out. So, oh, it's literally just two pieces. That's super simple. Um, well, this will be the easiest setup in the world for a figure. Ta -da! Her base is quite large. I normally don't get figures that have really large bases like this. Um, so her base is quite large. I'm not sure where, am I stupid? Like there's no specific spot for her to sit. I think she just kind of sits wherever. Um, she is as beautiful as I thought she would be. Super reasonably priced. She had some gorgeous shading. I really love the shading in her hair. Uh, Kotobukiya really, you can tell they really did a great job at updating this figure. Uh, if you didn't know, there, there was a figure like years and years ago that was this exact same thing, but it, it looks a little bit derpy and is not as nearly as cute as this new version. Her eyes, everything is super adorable. I love her little outfit. It also kind of has like a little bit of a tint of blue, which uh, like a bluey purple, which kind of never, I never really noticed until now. She's got like cute little straps on her arms and there's all kinds of details that are absolutely gorgeous about this, and I think Kotobukiya knocked it out of the park as usual. And I am super happy to add her to my Asuka collection. Okay, 
so that is it for my haul this month and I say that's it like it was very short but <laughs> there was a lot of things thank you again to anybody who sent me birthday wishes or got me a gift or anything like that I'm super grateful and I appreciate you all for even just watching my videos for five seconds every month <laughs> I'm super happy to have met some cool people who also are into figures and have kind of inspired me to start showing off some of my figures. Eventually I will make a my figure collection video but October will definitely be about Halloween. I will have a Halloween candy video and I will also possibly share my Halloween costume with you this year on here. Um, previously I used to do a lot of makeup tutorials and show you how to do some cool Halloween stuff with just stuff that you have around at the house. But this year I might bring it back to show you what I'm doing for Halloween this year. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if you got anything cool in September. And I will see you in October. Bye! With my monthly anime haul. My, my was a question what I'm doing. Sorry, I live in a neighborhood with a lot of traffic. And people who think they should listen to their music really loudly. I am weird and I am sorry, editing Jackie, you have to deal with this. The two movies that came out, they were great with Mika Nakashima in it. It's so good and she did all the music for it. Actually, the music for the anime too is Anna Tsuchiya. Tsuchiya, oh fuck it. The Halloween. This, it's. Filming figures and somebody is watching. Always watching.